This is the review of the Converse One Star Pro. Done. The shoes are great. It is Christmas, so I'm giving away a pair of One Star Pros at the end of this shoe review. So stick around to the end to see how you can win some. First and foremost, no shoe company has ever sponsored any of my shoe reviews, nor are they sponsoring this one. And this time, we're reviewing the Converse One Star. Now the Converse One Star cost me thirty dollars. That's because I went to the mall and I got them on sale at an outlet mall. But they normally cost. $59.97, so I'm pretty glad I got them on sale. For those of you who don't know, Nike owns Converse, and Nike has integrated a little bit of that Nike technology into the One Stars. Converse describes the One Star as a suede low top with ultimate durability and impact protection with Nike Air Zoom technology. Now, all that is kinda right. At least the durability part. Now, although the One Star is very durable, you kind of run out of flick before the shoe actually dies. So you're gonna have to try to flick a little bit harder to get those normal fresh new shoe kick flips that you would normally get when you first get it, as opposed to just getting another pair of shoes. After skiing the One Stars for about three weeks, I have to say, the durability is pretty good. No holes. But after the second week, the outsole started to go, and on the third week, I had to try like extra hard to get the same flick that I would normally get when I first got the shoes. But overall, pretty damn durable. One thing I didn't like about the shoes though, is that I did have to try extra hard to take them on and off. I kind of just want a shoe I could put on and take off, and not really worry about having to untie it all the time. But it makes for a solid fit. So it's all fine and dandy that these shoes are durable, but at the same time, how comfortable are they? Well. Seeing as how they're a very thin shoe, it doesn't make for the most comfortable ride. So, I put my own insoles in them, and from that point on, it was pretty good. Continuing with the comfortability factor. Now, this Nike Air Zoom technology wasn't very helpful at all, and the outsole didn't really have that much thickness for me to feel comfortable or confident at all jumping down anything. After getting used to how the heel flip flicked after a while, it was alright. Just a little more effort to make myself do tricks I normally do easily, but whatever, who doesn't like jumping down a four stair for 30 minutes in piss and homeless people's poo? Unlike other Converse shoes that might be a half size too big, the One Stars are actually true to size. Now the One Stars do have a classic 90s look, and I can see why some people might like them, but personally, I don't really like the 90s look, and I don't think that I would be getting these again for their look. We're just gonna keep that, because that's great. That was good. That was perfect. We're just gonna keep going. That does it for the Converse One Star Pro review. Now, yes, they're very durable, but no, they're not very impact friendly. And yes, they have a good flick for about a week or two, but no, they're not very comfortable. And would I recommend you skate these shoes? I would say if you like them, yes. I think they're a pretty good skate shoe. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel and ring the bell every time I come out with another shoe review, you get notified there every couple weeks because I have to skate them and actually test them before I tell you my real opinion about them. And if you want to go ahead and get yourself a pair of these, comment below what shoe you want me to do next and your shoe size in parentheses. And I will pick out of there one of you guys to win. And leave your Instagram handle next to it too so I can DM you because I don't know how to get in contact with you otherwise. And that's pretty much it. <gasps> shoe drop! Oh, well, it's raining shoes. <laughs> oh, 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 it's too much. Oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, good. Yeah.
I got a hole in my hand and I fell in some homeless man's piss because I was trying to film skating in these for this review. So, if you haven't hit subscribe yet, I mean, I'm getting hepatitis for it. Might as well subscribe. Anyways. What are we talking about?